Hi guys, welcome back to Coffee Morning Laughter. It's your girl Shields and it's Michelle. Hey, we're back, we're back, we're back. Um, what is it today? Today is um, Saturday the 10th. A very cold Saturday. Yeah, very cold Saturday. Last week we had um, Claudia's episode and you guys must have really loved it because we saw the numbers reflected in that. I know, right? Um, thank you so much for going onto YouTube, sharing, subscribing, all that good stuff that you did. Um, yeah, that was a good one. That was a really good one. I enjoyed that um, talking to Claudia. And yeah, Claudia, if you're listening, thanks for coming on and sharing the knowledge. But we're back to our regular. <laughs> <laughs> back to us. Back Not to two us. bojos. Yeah, uh, yeah, back to us, you know, just doing what we do best. You know, me and Michelle are matching today. I know, right? Yeah, but you right. look good in this colour, Shills. I like it, I told you. I'm not going to lie, Shill. You're really complimenting me. It's old age. Yeah. Oh, can I say that? Yeah. You know, I look well. You look well. And it's, who's old? Oh, I'm young in spirit. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling, do you know what, yeah? I haven't suffered... Like, um, I feel like I get sicker a little bit more. Mm. Like every week I'm, I'm fighting off like a sofa or a cold or something. But yeah. there's a lot going around. Yeah. Like literally, it really is cold. I think here in the London yeah. or in England, we've got that beast from the east. And they're telling us that. I don't even know that. Is it only in Surrey? No, babes. It's in <laughs> London. Yeah. <laughs> is it only in Surrey? No. Where's the east that is coming from? What east is it coming from? I don't from? know. That's what I said to Dan. Every year it's beast from the east. I don't know. Like yeah, Where's east. it? Because like I live in Eastern East. Europe, I think e- East, is it? Not East London. All oh, right. Like <laughs> East, I don't know. They call. It, look outside. Look how cloudy it is. Yeah. Like, or fog. Fog. Yeah. It's, just, it's not nice, man. It's not nice. But we're back, guys. I don't know if you've been following us on um, the Instagram page or if you've just actually been following life here. Yeah? Um, you've been seeing things around um, standing up to domestic violence. Yeah. Mm. I know we've been sharing a lot of stuff on our story and our timeline, and. Um, what we've done is we've actually thought before we get right into the spirit of Christmas yeah, let's get this serious topic out of the way. And then I guess we'll come on to more cheerful um, podcast recordings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because this is the season to be jolly, but in the same breath of being jolly and being seasonal, it's important to remember that, do you know what? Yeah. Serious things are still happening. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And people are still experiencing, um, a level of abuse, a level of trauma, or people are just championing um, certain things. People actually are surviving, yeah? I don't want to say everyone's a victim because some people like to call themselves survivors. So without further ado and me talking and talking and talking and talking and talking, mm-hmm. Michelle, bring us up to speed on what we're talking about today. Yeah, so I think, like she said, it's a bit of a serious topic, but um, it's funny we will hear today and I'll talk about actually it comes up more in um around christmas yeah yeah so um today's episode we're actually going to be talking about domestic violence and i think the question is when is enough enough yeah when is enough enough you know i mean we've talked we've spoken about domestic violence before on this podcast but um <laughs> i was gonna say why are you smiling <laughs> i'm smiling because you know what yeah i've gone because obviously we spoke about um when banter becomes abuse, mm-hmm. remember that, yeah? Yeah, yeah? That was our first ever episode, that, yeah? yeah? It was, yeah, like, yeah. And I remember in that, I made a comment about Tina Turner. I'm trying to remember what the comment was, yeah? Maybe the producer will play it back for you guys, yeah, and let you remember that. I made a comment about Tina Turner, and I'm sure I'm going to make a lot of references on Tina in here. Randomly, I watched her... Um, Story. The, yeah, last um, last weekend. Oh. Literally, it was on um, maybe Channel 5 or something. You're like that. having fun in life. <laughs> Oh, shut up. This is what married people do, yeah? Watch Tina Turner and I. Yeah, we watch documentaries about people getting battered. Um, Yeah, yeah, but I just didn't know how bad it was. It was, listen. I did not know how bad. So now do you get my comment in that first episode? Yeah, like, 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 nobody wants that that I can turn a love. That's what he says, yeah. Something like that, yeah. See, that's what I'm saying to you. So when I make references to I can turn a yeah, I'm like, you must like it because no. Nah, well. It was deep, It was deep. It was really, really deep. So, okay, so... Domestic violence, when is enough enough? Now, abuse comes in different forms. We all know that, yeah? I think, what, what is abuse? What is abuse? Um, that's not the, that's not, that's not my profession. <laughs> <laughs> abuse. So, yeah. I don't know, domestic abuse, and I think this is what, it's really important to know. Yeah. Because I think sometimes people are going through it and they honestly don't even know that they're being they're abused. Through it. So, are we going to talk about the different forms of abuse? Or yeah. Are we going to concentrate some... on physical or emotional? Should we just quickly run through them? Just okay, yeah, let's go. Yeah. So, you've got physical. Physical. 
Sexual. Emotional. Financial. Uh, mental. Emotional. You said that already. Did I say emotional? Yeah. Oh, Michelle, man. You're not oh, a good you student. You me out. I know. Yeah, like, like, oh, man. See, and guys, yeah, and at university, the four hours I wasn't listening in class, yeah. She says emotional twice. Next, she'll say to you, smoshina. Yeah. Physical, emotional, yeah. financial, yeah. sexual. Yeah. And mental abuse. And mental abuse. Yeah, yeah. those are them. So that's it. See, I do have a job, and I do know my job. <laughs> and she does work, listen. Yeah. And I do listen to my service users. Yeah. But, so that's what we have. Now, what is most common possibly might be physical abuse when i say most common mm. when people think about abuse they think yeah, about yeah. the physical yeah, yeah. yeah now um i guess for adults we for children you might add neglect as a form of abuse mm. for children yeah but again you can you can put it across actually all age groups because you know a person could be neglected emotionally and that could cause them to feel invalid yeah, therefore yeah. causing an emotional abuse and therefore impacting their mental health yeah yeah come yeah. on yeah students <laughs> of life yeah she always ruins the serious thing by bigging herself up i'm like wow because <laughs> i'm half really that's what africans do have you seen me <laughs> no like legitly that's what it is guys if you remember mm. what i've just said now um emotional abuse is also another one um that's not so emotional and neglect here yeah? are ones that people sometimes can't identify because it's like you can't put a finger on them. Yeah. yeah? You can't point out because... Sometimes it's subtle. Yeah, that's the word. I'm, yeah, that's the word. That's the English, yeah? Yeah. It's a subtle form of abuse and it eats away at you. Mm. And what happens is when that's happening is... Um, you then start you're then made to believe that this is normal mm -hmm. it's not until you meet somebody and they're like oh and they're like, no, no, hang on hang on and no one's ever told you your, your partner didn't tell you they loved you no they said they liked me <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a bit more deeper than that yeah but i loved you as an example uh, you give us an example, an Michelle. example like the little things like oh like you look really fat you know, yeah. commenting on your ex your your appearance in a negative in way. a negative way. All right, sure. Playing devil's advocate. What if you're fat and that you that that body con you're wearing? I know I I know I'm fat. I'm I'm not blind. When I'm not blind, I know I'm fat. You don't need to tell me. Have you ever did seen, I ask you? Did you see that film, Shallow Shallow Heart? How? No, I haven't yeah. seen that one. Um, so Shallow <laughs> How. I think it was Gwyneth Paltrow and um the, this australian um actress who used to be big but now she's small i forgot her name i'm so sorry yeah Rivas. no i don't know i can't remember so basically the funny girl that used to be big yeah so um <laughs> she used to look at herself through rose tinted, tinted glasses. glasses yeah she saw herself as skinny so, so, something in the film shallow how the guy starts to see her as skinny yeah, yeah. and it's like but she's Big, yeah. I don't want to say, girl. I don't want to say fat because that's, it's, you know, I want to be politically correct here. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. As Michelle was watching me. Thank but you. But basically, yeah, she was actually a really big girl. And so when you're saying, I know I'm big, she didn't know she was big. But did I ask you? I think the issue is, did I ask you? Okay. So, so you walk into a room and what, what and do the I man's say? Like, oh, like you're could, really, really, like. Could be a woman. Huh? Could be a woman. Or so, a woman. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was really trying to be C PC. Oh, wow, it's only taking you two years. Wow. Listen, yeah, me, I've been reading about LGB. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just unrequited. It's, it's about negative comments that are putting you down yeah. to make you feel a certain type of way, especially when you're, they're not even asked for. Okay, unsolicited. Unsolicited. You know, so yeah. like literally the last, last week, I was like, Dan, have I put on weight? Yeah. And it was like, oh, well, no, I don't think so, babes. And I'm like, no, really, just tell me the truth. Have I put on weight or not? Because yeah. I think I have. Mm. See, well, actually, now you've said it, but Dan's trying to be nice. Yeah. Like, Dan had just turned around to me one day and be like, rah, you put on weight. I don't think that's abuse. No, it's it's unsolicited. Okay, yeah? is, it, is it? Okay, could that depend on the temperament of a person? If I know the person has insecurities about the weight, about whatever, yeah, and I turn around and I'm like, ah, you're big, you know? Even if they don't have insecurities, yeah. what's your intention behind it? Look, okay, I've got a couple of friends, yeah. Oh God, I was going to say, this I've is got, Sheila. I've got a couple of friends, yeah. And I'm, I I like it when my brethren says to me, oh, shoes you've put on, yeah. Particular friends, yeah. Did you yeah. hear that? No, because that's how we talk to each other. Yeah, yeah. And the, the, some people I will never go and say to them, you've put on, because I don't want to be causing somebody to now go to mm -hmm. Thames, to Thames River, yeah. And then... <laughs> <laughs> River Thames, sorry, yeah. <laughs> saying that 
you know, they're, they're leaving a note there oh saying God, she was. It was you. Shira. Yeah, she like, it was you. You, you. The camel that broke the whatever. <laughs> the camel that broke the straw that broke the camel's back. Yeah, and I'm like, no, bro, that's not wasn't me. But I've had a few friends and I've said to them, you know, I've had a few friends and I'm like, oh, babes, you know what? Yeah, you're, you've put on, you need to really mind that portion. That's fine. Because you know your mate and you have that relationship. Yeah. Yeah, but imagine you're saying it every time you see them. And they're actually saying, stop, I don't like it. Fair enough. And you know that actually you're making this person feel oh, sad, fair enough, upset. Yeah. Yeah. You know the impact it's having on them. Fair enough, I'll stop then. But I'll be looking at you like this. Every time I take a bite of that burger, I'll be like, mm, <laughs> yum. <laughs> Guys, I'm really silly. She's not. <laughs> but at least you're doing it with the people that can take it. That's fine. Yeah. I'll be like, no, like, you know what, yeah? Like, I don't know. I'm, but it is true, yeah? Emotion, like, verbal abuse, yeah? can actually do a lot of damage yeah because the person walks away thinking about those things you said your stones might break break your bones but words will hurt you a hundred percent they will yeah well you know see people get it confused as well because they're like i'm only being most abusers are like me (laughs) no i'm being serious guys yeah they'll say things like oh i'm only saying it because you know blah 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 they will try to mitigate it yeah Yeah. but do you know what that is Gaslighting. Gaslighting. Yeah, that's a new word, you know. That's been yeah. That's been a buzzword that yeah, a for buzzword. the last six months. Yeah. Yeah. Is yeah. it something that Gen Z is doing, or the millennials are coming up with? I think they're calling Gen people X. out on it. Everything is gaslighting. When, yeah, because when you know you're, you don't doing even have wrong. gas at home and you're gaslighting somebody. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You can't even afford to put on your own gas. So yes, you're gas but you're still gaslighting. Okay, so explain what gaslighting is. So gaslighting is basically when you know you're doing something, mm. you know that it's having a said experience on someone. A said, a, a, a said. You, you know, you ha, it, it's having um, an effect on someone. Yeah, and um, you're trying to pretend like it's not. So when you're saying something like, "Oh, um, you know, you're just goading someone," and then when they snap back, you're like. Oh, calm down, love. But actually, you've been sat in there telling me I'm fat, I'm fat, I'm fat. I'm telling you, you snap. You say, stop calling me fat. Well, I was only trying to make you feel better. I was only doing you a favour. Well, actually, you weren't. You knew what you were doing. You was gaslighting me. You was gaslighting. Yeah? So, that's a form of gaslighting. And maybe we'll get the right definition up. But that is definitely... It's it's when you're just trying to... Pushing somebody. You're pushing someone. And then when they snap back, you make them... What's that word that you use? Go... Gording. Hmm. Somebody used that word against me once. Oh, were you? Remember, <laughs> your friends. Yeah. And I wasn't. When you all analyze the information, she was gording me. And then I snapped. She gaslit me. Then I snapped. And I was oh the bad one. Oh, God. Yeah, nah. We need to do a whole episode on emotional. Because Gaslighting. you're right, though. Because you're right. Yeah. When some people sometimes don't see their actions. Yeah. And actually, um, they're the ones that's doing it to you, but then they're projecting what they're doing onto you, yeah, onto them. And I'm just like, what? What are you talking? What about? are you talking about? Thank God, yeah. Whenever somebody tries to beef me, yeah, there's witnesses oh, God, the available, yeah, and the court of life can speak for me, yeah. <laughs> anyway, the last person that tried to beef me didn't even turn up at the court of life. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> she couldn't. She couldn't face it. <laughs> Oh, he. <laughs> well, let's leave it there. Yeah. Let's leave that one there. Yeah. Like, yeah. But so, okay. So coming back to the point. So we've spoken, spoken about, we, we all know what physical violence is. Physical yeah? violence. Physical abuse, whatever that is. So we've spoken about emotional. Emotional, yeah? sexual. I don't think we need to go deep in, but it's obviously yeah. forcing someone to do something that they don't want to do. Yeah. No, we've had an episode on it. Yeah, no very earlier on. Very in, early in, on. In the, um, what's it, in the um, podcast. Yeah, we season spoke one. About, yeah, yeah, rape and, you know. And consent. You yeah, know, right, right, it's right, very, right. very simple. Yeah. Do you want a cup of tea? Yes or no? Mm-hmm. If, if 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 I say mm, maybe, oh, I'll have one later. That means no. Yep. If it's not a yes, yep. if it's not a strong yes, I want this. It's a no. But even if I came to your house and I was planning to have a cup of tea, and even if you've mind. even if you've made it, yep. and you bring it to the table, and even if I take a sip of it and say, oh, that's too hot for me, I don't want it, so you can't tip it. No. <laughs> It's a no. Great example. It's the truth. Because it, it literally, it could go as far as yeah. anywhere. But yeah. as soon as someone, man or woman, yeah. says no, you then actually stop. you yeah. need to let it go. Be- you know? Let it go like frozen. Yeah. <laughs> let it go. Let it go. Because it is true. Yeah. People will be like, oh, no, but we're planning to do this. We're planning to do that. You came over. You was looking. Mm-mm-mm. I was talking to you like this. This was your conversation. It's a no. Because if that person turns around and says it was not consented to, 
that was a form of sexual abuse. And yes, you can be down for it. And it can happen in marriages, yeah? Yeah, yeah, So yeah, just yeah, because yeah. you're married, uh, any kind of marriage, traditional marriage, yeah. engaged, like uh, literally, arranged, no, no, whatever, arrange, it is, yeah. whatever it is, as no, soon as it's, it's no. a no, as soon as it's not a yes, it's a no. So, okay, so that's we've got um, physical, emotional, sexual... Financial. Finan oh, let's talk about this because one. this is this is one of the hidden ones. This and is, this yeah, and yeah. this this is a hidden one. And this goes across the board. Yeah, it goes from um, it could be parent to child. Mm -hmm. Yeah, child to parent, partner to partner. Yeah, so it's like um, people might not even and I, I see this a lot. And I, I don't want to be a stereotype here, yeah, but I see this a lot in a lot of um, ethnic minority marriages or relationships, especially when like the man controls the money. Mm. And the, and I'm, I'm saying this just because of my experience at work where the men's are controlling the money and the woman's like, um, I haven't got no money. I haven't got money to buy uh, my sanitary pads or whatever. And it's really, really degrading because for every little thing you need, you need to approach this person or, you know, your, your tax collector in your house, yeah. And people can actually um, fall victims in that. And then either way, when you look at financial control and financial abuse, is if um, people that have more money um, abuse people that don't have as much. Mm. So somebody can get in a relationship with somebody and they they hold more weight financially. Yeah. And then they're like, if you don't do this, I won't buy this for you. And sometimes we're finding the culture that we're living in now as well. A lot of I don't want to say females only, but because I'm a female, can I talk from that perspective, yeah? Um, a lot of females would um, subject themselves to men that are not really positive for them because of what they can provide. Mm. That safety blanket, do you know what I mean? Well, when, when and truly, it's not really safe because you're not your own person yep. and every little thing you have, it's like, it's like you're a prostitute, really. Well, <laughs> you said it. Yeah, because every because it's like, oh, if I don't perform, mm -hmm. he's not gonna give me this. Mm -hmm. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And that's that's financial abuse because mm -hmm. I'm abusing him with my power of finances over you. So, guys, if you have to get yourself a broke fella that treats you like the world, yeah, I'm telling you. sometimes at a peace of mind, get yourself somebody that you can work with, build up, and level up. Yeah, money isn't everything, but I have heard somewhere else as they it's the root of all evil. Dubai. I'm saying, yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying to you girls who's been out there on them yachts. <laughs> uh, no, you're right though, but that's, that's a really good one. And, yeah. and when I say good, I just mean, I think it's, it's, it's only really come to the light in say the last, like say five, 10 years yeah, that it yeah. wasn't really known and talked about. Cause like we said, yeah. physical, emotional, sexual, they're the ones that are yeah. out there. We've got the coercive and control yeah. and that is where the financial abuse comes into as well. Yeah. So I think that's all the different types of abuse. But I think like we said, for today's episode, we're just going to focus on the first of all, physical aspects and also the mental and emotion, emotional. Mm. Because I, I I like to call them mental and emotional um, for the purpose of the podcast. Let's just call them um, ES or emotional. And oh, we get spiritual abuse as well, though, because that's experienced in the churches where they where spiritual um, leaders would abuse, you know. Well, religion leaders will, will abuse people of that faith through the teachings, where they yeah. manipulate the teachings. But I think when, when we're looking at domestic violence, mm. and maybe we should have said this at the start, domestic violence is only occurs, can only occur within the household. So it can be yeah. partner to partner, yeah. or it can be sibling to sibling. Yeah. It can be child to, to parent, parent, and obviously parent, parent to, to child. child. Yeah. 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 So if we're looking at spiritual, but there are parents saying we know this already in yeah. terms of Victoria Columbia yeah. where family members where they say oh they feel that you're a witch yeah or they feel that you are you've been um, possessed you've been you've sent been to possessed. do something yeah. blah 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 yeah it's really bad you know yeah. it's really really bad but for the purpose of this let's just stick to what everybody knows and maybe try to educate each other as mm. we go along with it um what I think about yeah because I've heard this often sometimes yeah yeah where um men will say men that are abusing women yeah they'll say oh she 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 deserves it she pushes me yeah and one of the things i've sort of thought about and maybe it's probably through work is sometimes i do see a pattern with the women yeah. that are being abused what's the pattern maybe their parents that they're, they're people who've um they're single parents okay um like i said at the beginning of the podcast 
certain types of the year around the time of the year that it happens christmas christmas so they have vulnerabilities mm. so maybe during pregnancy yeah um single parents yeah um, they're already isolated. They have very little friends. Yeah. Sometimes in our work, their language is a barrier. Yeah. Um, substance misuse. Yeah. Um, they don't have substance misuse. But dependency. you know what, yeah? Like, I'm not sorry to cut your show, yeah? And obviously we're free-flowing and we're talking. No, this is scripted, yeah? That's why I can we'll cut each other. But it's weird when you describe those things, yeah? But then there's the woman or man, yeah, mm. that doesn't portray everything you've said and they're ignored as victims. What? Well, and that's what I was saying. Like, because I had a manager. Yeah, I mm. had a. Ma we're working child protection. We take families to conferences over domestic violence. We remove kids over them seeing whatever. Yeah, and I had this manager. Yeah, brilliant at her job. Brilliant. Yeah, mm. but she was pregnant, and her husband used to beat her. Black wow. and blue, yeah. Like she'll put makeup on and you wouldn't know. Mm. But um, he used to hit her. He used to control her verb, like financially. He used to emotionally abuse her. He would come into the house with different women. Wow. And yet she would come to a conference. Do you know what? I'm shaking my head and I'm saying, yeah. wow, because yeah. I've known that as well. Yeah. So I, I've not known someone. I've, I've heard of a manager as yeah. well. Very similar situation, wearing yeah. makeup. I've even, I've, I've know of a social worker yeah. that was supporting kids and she disclosed that, yep, um, this is what her husband was doing to her. Yeah. I've heard of um, um, my, one of a social worker that I worked with. Yeah. She had a nanny. What's her name? No, the social worker, <laughs> I, I would never. No, no, but the social worker, I'll tell you this one. The no, don't tell, worker, the, don't tell us no, her no, name, Michelle. No, 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 Michelle, <laughs> listen, yeah. No, no, let me tell you the story of it. No, because the social worker had a nanny. Yeah. And the nanny was looking after the social worker's kids. Yeah. And then one day, the nanny's boyfriend just turned up to work and he was basically stalking the nanny. He was stalking the social worker's nanny. Oh. And, he was, and then the nanny was like, I'm so sorry. And then she disclosed to the social worker, he's been abusing me. And he's following me. He's stalking me. Oh. He wants to know where I am. I've yeah. always got to text him, like, yeah. what I'm doing. I've got to send him pictures Control. of your kids. Uh-uh. Yeah. So it wasn't, the, it wasn't the social worker, but it was her uh, nanny. Yeah. But it all came out because he just turned up at the house. Wow. And that's just going to show that actually, yeah, sometimes there are characteristics yeah actually domestic abuse can happen to anyone anybody. yeah and you know anybody. what yeah I, I okay just just off the top of our heads yeah for me the worst form of abuse yeah that anybody can perform is emotional you think for me it's like now because you know what yeah it's 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 you manipulate everybody else around mm. you yeah and then it's very hard when somebody's abusing you emotionally yeah it's very hard for you to go and be like i'm being abused emotionally how do you yeah because yeah. that's where the gaslighting comes yeah. in like, what you, are you, you talking you, about you, you, you know I what I mean that. I that's not what that. I meant that's not what I meant yeah. and you can deny it it's in and your head it's, 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 it's manipulation yeah. it's a form of narcissism as yeah. well yeah. and it's, it's it just gets to you and even if you go to try and tell your closest friends mm. they're like mm, I don't see it yeah. then you lose hope yeah, because it's rather if I turn up with a black eye, you'll be you like, Oh my gosh, you got oh beaten my up. God. Yeah, yeah. yeah, what are yeah. you doing? But if I now say to you, even if I came to you and I said to you, Michelle, yeah, this person's abusing me emotionally, you're like, You, you are I the said, one, big old Sheila. Yeah, you'll be like, You'll be like, You're the one who's abusing me. I'm you. 100%. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll first ask Sheila, Are you joking? Yeah. I, I'll probably I'll be like, Sheila, come on. Yeah. Yeah, I'll ask you about it three times. And they'll be like, Okay, let's take this seriously now. And then you see, yeah. and if a person is like a character that I am, mm. it'll be very hard for somebody to yeah. even try and say, yeah. You know what? Sheila needs help. Because they feel they might feel a sense of shame. Like how yeah. could this be me? But even that, yeah, you wouldn't believe it because of my personality. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But then that, that squeamy little man that I've got at home, mm. who's who's like don't even deserve you. I'm he's now there you. saying, right now I've got you. Then yeah. you isolate yourself from your family. Mm -hmm. You isolate yourself you from shamed. your friends because yeah. you feel shamed, and because you can't say whatever. And now you're living in that house or that flat or whatever, and you don't even know where to turn. It's you and the yeah. four walls because, and him. Because when your family leaves, it's you and him. Mm. And the kids are there as well. And you need... Because that is the truth. Women are really vulnerable, especially when they've got younger kids mm. or in pregnancy or whatever. Because it's kind of like, even the abuser is saying, well, who's going to help you? Yeah. Yeah. And, and there are statistics that show that um, a lot of domestic violence actually happens, or the first incident mm. might happen when a woman's pregnant. Yeah. I've got like an idea of a couple of my friends who have never said 
that this is whatever. But I suspect. You just think. I don't think. I suspect. <laughs> You highly suspect. You yeah. highly suspect. I'm suspecting, yeah, that they're Something. experiencing, mm. a, they've, they've experienced or experiencing mm. a level of abuse, yeah. And because everybody wants to play nice, mm. we're all just nodding along and saying, oh, lovely, okay. wonderful, great, yeah. And I think I applaud women that are able to say, here's what I'm really going through. It's not easy. It's not easy. But, you know, you know, all I can say is use the, use the network around you. 100%. Yeah, use the network around you because the more and more you keep something secret or something shameless, you can't walk away or you can't leave. It's kind of like you're just giving the other person power. You're feeding it, yeah. Yeah, you're feeding it because and and in, in terms of like some things around emotional and, and and verbal abuse, yeah. We all have different backgrounds, yeah, and the level of your sensitivity is different to mine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like Michelle said clearly, I can run a joke. I'm yeah, telling you. I can run a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I can run a joke on somebody, yeah, till the cows, cows come home, yeah. And you can run a joke on me, but I'll tell you now, yeah, my mouth will finish you, yeah. Everybody. But the truth of the matter is, yeah, if you're being abused in a relationship, yeah, and you're not able to speak out, you're giving that person a lot of power over you. And that person's not going to stop until they see you. It takes a highly intelligent person and a person who's intelligent emotionally. And if they don't mean what they're saying to it be bad, they can stop, reflect and make changes. Yeah. And you will, you will always know when somebody's being genuine. Yeah. Because I could say to, I could say to Michelle, like, oh, listen, Shell, I'm going to make a few jokes here and there. And Michelle will be like, sure, your joke's a bit, your joke's off the mark. Yeah. It's like doing too much. Then I can take it because, oh, crap, Michelle, I didn't even know that was the case. Yeah. Mm. But I'm a genuine person like that because I'm genuinely making a joke. I'm not making a joke to bring anybody down. But I've seen people that talk so low to their partners, yeah, in public as well. And then that creates a friction. And when women do this to men, yeah, mm -hmm. men then become physically violent. Men then become something else because I I've seen it happen a few times, yeah, where a woman is kind of like, um, What's the word? Dismissive to her husband yeah. in public. Then they, they then they goad them with words in public. They mm. bring him down. When that man goes in the house, yeah, he is the worst husband to that woman. But there's a reason of that stemming from. And I'm not saying that's right. But I've got to see that even men experience a form of abuse in a different kind of oh, way. Oh, 100%. Yeah. So if we're talking about taking responsibility for what we're all doing because mm. it, it's always weird to me yeah and i'm playing devil's advocate a lot of this time babe, guys yeah so it's kind of like if a man now goes to punch you you want to be surprised isn't it Shilla. <laughs> you want to be surprised like it's, it's difficult i no, think there is but, no yeah. let's be real let's let, let's be balanced on this debate yeah if you're a woman and you're pushing a man, pushing, 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 mm. pushing, thinking men shouldn't hit women because that's what the playground told you. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm being serious. Yeah. Oh, it's playground. It's, yeah. It's, 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 it's wrong for men to be hitting women. Yeah? Oh, man. That's what I'm just saying. Yeah. No, no, you're right. You know how I feel about yeah. this anyway. But and then yeah. you keep pushing, you keep pushing, you keep pushing. And this guy now thumps you. Mm. And then, ah, I'm calling the police. He's divvied me. Nah, th there is something about this, and I say this as a mum of, of, of two boys, yeah. I say this, that nobody should even, I'm not going to, obviously I won't raise my kids yeah. to, to to hit anyone. That's walk the away. Teach you. Walk away, walk yeah. away. But you know, I've heard stories where a woman will be slapping someone, will be spitting yeah. on them, will be, yeah. and it's like, hold on. That's a real, you're what really hell, abusing yeah, this man. What, what are you doing? Like, what is this? If yeah. it was the other way around, what would be happening this right now? And then and what I wanted to finish off of that point is, yeah, now I I, I tried, I, I've been understanding this a little bit more, the older I've got as well, yeah, and the more and more I've been reflecting on different ways and different signs of life, yeah. I don't know all the experiences that this person has been through, yeah. So the if abuser I'm, or the, the victim? The, the victim, yeah so if i'm the victim or the perp yeah so if i now become the victim because i've been pushing you pushing you pushing you you know spitting at you snapping you and one day i turn around and i snap you mm. yeah i could be you could have triggered something from my childhood memory yeah i could have had an abusive father mm -hmm. yeah who used to hit me hit me and one day i smacked him one 
But in that day, I promised myself I wouldn't hit anybody else ever yeah. again because it was harmful. But you've actually pushed me. You've triggered. Or, or you've yeah. triggered or you've said a word or you've said something or it's been too much. Do you know what I mean? Mm. And I've blown. And now I become... A perpetrator. A perpetrator. Because... I'm in a situation where it's not healthy for me. Mm. So that's what we call to toxic environments. Yeah, 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 yeah. And how do you identify them? Because if we're in a relationship where we're both trying to abuse each other... That's toxic. It's toxic. When, when you're bringing out the worst in each other, mm. that's when you need to think about actually, is this environment okay? For me, yeah. But let's talk about women that get everything right, but still... Or, or even men that get everything right, but and then still their partners want to just... Phil Mitchell them one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Grant. Phil doesn't even beat anybody nowadays. Uh, Phil used to beat people though. Phil oh, used he, to beat Sharon. Yeah, I think he used to hit Sharon, but yeah, but, Phil used to hit. Yeah. Phil used to hit Sharon. Who else was it? Lisa. Remember that Lisa? Uh, like, yeah. She even had to run to Spain to run away but from Lisa Phil had Mitchell. Mental breakdown. Yeah, yeah. Because of Phil Mitchell. I don't blame Phil Mitchell. No, Lisa. You think? Yeah, and and we I know knew she ran away. Yeah, Lisa ran away. You know, she wasn't watching us in us back then. I was. Yeah. Lisa ran away and took the baby, took the daughter. Yeah, they're to back Spain. now. They've come back. Yeah. And back in Spain. I want to make a point on this, yeah. Lisa was being abused, yeah. Yep. And Phil knew he was doing what he was doing. And the shame of it, yeah, Peggy Mitchell knew she what her knew son her. was doing. God bless her son. Yeah. And she didn't even... She always said with her kids. So we've got to do better as parents or people... That, as parents. Yeah. But again, I think we've said this so many times, Shills. Yeah. The reality is um, trauma. Mm. And we just... Our early life experiences, yeah. every single one of us impacts mm. on how we behave so and um, randomly earlier on this year they did um a little a random historical eastenders did you watch that no I don't, maybe it's not that deep for me no nah, i'm I an adult now. you know i love eastenders i'm an yeah. adult now but they did like um they took us back to the early life of peggy mitchell yeah and obviously they were talking about her um husband phil and um grant's dad and how he beat her senseless he was bringing yeah. back he brought back, he cheated with Ronnie and and um, Ronnie and the other, and her sister's mum. Roxy. You, Ro Ronnie and Roxy's mum, he cheated with them and all the women. And even Grant, oh no, Phil ended up beating up his dad for his mum. And that's why Phil's such an angry old man. So it's not an excuse, but it's just to bear in mind, actually, people who have certain experiences, they're going to be wired a bit different. Facts. Yeah. Facts. And that's to put it simply, you understand? Just to put it, and it's not to say bad, but what I will say is different. And the way that they view, um, the way they view life and their coping mechanisms. Yeah, because they're not the me, same as ours. Yeah. They're not, not, well, I can't even say ours because I think we've all got issues here in yeah. this world. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but I'm not beating up people. But not, <laughs> yeah, we're not beating <laughs> up people. We're not, but I think it's so important that if you have had a difficult early life experience, for you to sit back and think, okay. But you know what though, Shell? You're saying that, and um, I feel like we're talking to a generation that's passed. Mm. Because that a lot of people from that generation don't even believe in counselling or therapy. So mm. I think we can only do as well as we can do from possibly Generation X to the millennials and then to moving on moving to... Moving forward. Moving oh, forward. We can't say it's too late. It's not too late, but... Shell, that, that was said that other episode, yeah, we talked about if you go and tell your African nan or your African mm. parent of my, you know, my friend's husband, my friend's husband was beating her or, or slapped her and she wanted to leave or was cheating she or whatever. Say, stay, mate. She was saying, where are you a, going? A slap, yeah, one slap. One slap, oh, yeah, where are you down, going? Yeah. So how many men will you leave? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's oh, crazy. God bless our parents. It's crazy, yeah. <laughs> but the mindset isn't formed like we're formed, mm, yeah. It's not. And it's like, not. you know, the, the question is today: when is enough enough? Mm. Yeah, because some people have died. So, some. When I say, if you look at the statistics, yeah, I remember one story um, a few years back where um, domestic violence, um, and then basically this lady, a husband, shot her on her way to school. What killed her? And killed the mum of his child. When Sorry, when you say shot. Shot, killed. On the gun. way to school? Yeah. Was she walking on the road? Yeah. And nobody else saw? He went to prison, yeah, yeah. He saw everyone so saw she died. So he came with a, 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 a gun. gun? and he shot her, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Someone take Sheila's mic, please. <laughs> no, I'm just yes. crazy. Yeah. He followed her while she was yeah, walking he to followed school? Her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey. He killed her on her way to school. Out of curiosity, what's the background? 
they were they were I, I don't want to say Middle Eastern they might be like Iranian or oh, right. Asian they weren't black they weren't black and they weren't white English they weren't white English oh, right. I'm sure that but the reality is you google this stuff Jules it will come up across yeah the, yeah the across gender-based violence yeah which yeah. is a part of domestic violence yeah comes up that's the one thing that we all have in common other than we all have blood in this yeah, world yeah yeah violence against women and obviously it's not to say because i know some men are going to be at, you're right there is domestic violence against yeah men. i'm working with a family at the moment oh really yeah well i don't i think he wants papers but hey <laughs> <laughs> Because this, ah. this man right, told me, I don't know what is a house on my own. Can you do that? <laughs> Get this woman away from yeah. me. <laughs> it's like, like, no way. But you see, I don't know, man. Like, Well, guys, we've said it before. We started off as from the, me, the only person that I know, yeah. I don't even know her, but the only story that I've been reading, that I've been watching my whole life, yeah, has been a Tina Turner story. I can yeah? see that. Because when is enough enough? Yeah. She, if you've ever seen this film, yeah, this woman got in the car one night. She was wearing a white suit. She had performed and he had beat her in front mm. of her kids. And the kids have seen this beatings many a times, yeah. Mm. They've seen him carry women up and down, up and yeah, down, up and down, house. taking drugs, doing whatever, whatever, beating the mum, verbally abusing her, financially abusing her. Mm. She just had to pattern herself up and get out. This is yeah. literally the get out of all get outs, yeah. This woman gets into this limousine, and just runs out of this hotel mm. yeah because it's like if i stay here i'm gonna die literally and my kids are gonna bury me because this man mm. or this person now in the same sex relationships here yeah? this woman this man this woman man he she <laughs> she he they he, they <laughs> they've beat you <laughs> yeah yeah and it's like whoa you could have got out but then they do say Women that experience domestic abuse don't report it till after like seven times. Yeah, this, it would have happened. A thing. It won't be yeah. once, it won't be twice. Yeah. The cycle of change before you decide to get up and leave. There are many women that I've put in a refuge. Yeah. Mm, yeah. And then I've worked in one. Yeah. Then the next week, I'm going back. back. I'm like, oh, that hard work I've put in. <laughs> But it's it's hard because the way that they've been brainwashed. Yeah, you to need think, me. You can't you live without me. me. You can't live without me. Yeah. You're nothing without me. And, hmm, Don't stop me listen, from seeing my kids. It, it's so sad. I've seen women that have been like, "Well, what can I do?" He's the father of my child. Ah! And in these meetings, even when I've had like friends talk to me like that, I'm I don't have words. I don't have words because but that's I'm not in that situation. No. Yeah, and like my family isn't set up like that. Mm. my family is very much like what you leave if you want to leave yeah. yeah you go if you have to go you come and stay here i remember yeah when my sister was getting married yeah bless my aunt mary yeah she said to her if things are rough there you can always come back oh. home yeah like, we love you auntie mary yeah. like <laughs> do you know what i mean it was like my mom was yeah. gonna have that conversation with my sister but my sister already knew what my mom's views are yeah, yeah. you you already know yeah and I think my sister's husband already knew what my mom was like. Yeah, yeah. that's not gonna fly. Yeah. Like we've got too many women in my you've family. Got the matriarchal, so you've got. Yeah. Str and it's it's not. I hate when we say strong women, and because it's not to say that women yeah. who are domestic violence, who are abused, are weak women. Yeah. It's really not. It's an issue with the man. But there is something about women who may want to choose to protect the other, the, the yeah. perpetrator, yeah. than actually choosing themselves. Exactly that. Exactly. Yeah. So I know for a fact there's nothing in me that I think if Dan hit me mm. I just I, I couldn't even phantom I couldn't imagine but I don't think you'll leave who me yeah then let's rock and roll let's do raw cause, rumble cause here me even you what? even me when, if, I was, if I'm the friend turning up I'll be saying for Michelle what did you do yeah I mean like, what did you do and I said can really Dan slap really hurt you <laughs> I'd be like, no, I've got to see Dan first. Nah. But the one thing I've always said is, yeah, I'm not going to eat food I know, right? at Michelle's house if she's not there, yeah? Especially if I'm <laughs> eating meat that is brown, <laughs> yeah? <laughs> I'd be like, let's first call Michelle. Before I put this meat in my mouth, let you me first hear Michelle's voice. She's like, you always say this, and I always say, when will Dan, has Dan in the 10 years <laughs> invited you round to our home no, when I'm not being there This is what I'm going to say to you. Meat. This is what I'm saying to you. This may change, you know? <laughs> is so silly i've had it all. I, I can't that would be that saying to me i'm making beef wellington <laughs> <laughs> i said 
said, what? Wait, we're like, Michelle, is that you? I'm mean, like, Beth Wellington. Since when are you making Beth Wellington? Yeah. I know how that just goes, you know. I'm not that F, yeah. Then it might change it up and say the next weekend we're having Todd in the hoe. Hey. <laughs> All these foods, yeah, that consist of potato and meat, yeah. Still they on then it. He'll not say from to dad. Me, Mash, pie, pie and mash. <laughs> so what's in that pie? I need to speak to my bedroom mate. Yeah. Okay. I need so to speak to my bedroom mate. Dad, at least you've heard, yeah. You Dad, can't, you no can't invite Shill around when I'm not there. No funny business, bro. <laughs> no funny business, yeah. I need to first, even before you give me the invite, before we eat, I need to talk to Michelle. Michelle, are you alive? In the 10 years, just so the listeners know, in the okay. 10 years, Dan has never <laughs> called up Sheila to invite her around. But Sheila wants to stay ready. She wants to stay I ready. I want to be ready because yeah. I know. I've been warned just about. Listen, the same thing that <laughs> grandmother fine. said, yeah. Like, don't let the don't, don't people them there, yeah. You, you know, all, you, all, you know, all you people of colour. For those that know, we know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For those that know, no, we know. But let's keep it moving, yeah. Enough is enough when... Um, when is enough is enough? I feel like enough is, I don't know. I, I, it's just so sad because it's like you want to, working in the field that we've worked in, yeah, you want to physically pick up this person. And just say that your life and will just be say, okay. You'll be all right, you know. Trust me. But the conditioning mm. that they've experienced or they've been put under, yeah, it's not, it's not even your words that can move them. No. It's literally, if you're a Christian, you'll say, it's the grace of God. Mm. If you're a Muslim, you'll say, Something like, is it inshallah? I don't know, guys. I don't want to get it wrong, yeah. So don't come for me. It's not every day, but <laughs> but she tried. Yeah, yeah, I tried. You know, I'm trying to. I'm trying to be um, inclusive, inclusive to everybody. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what the rest of the people them are saying. Yeah, but it's kind of like when when nobody. It's like you. I can't even say to you. The question is, when is enough enough? Yeah, it should be. I, it's just a statement. I think the reality is enough when is enough enough you need to determine that and yeah. whatever you determine you need to stick to because i think i've heard of a situation at work where um someone did something and i was working with the mum yeah and i it just got to the point where it'd been like years of emotional abuse and then it was slowly escalating and then he even strangled her oh. and he left marks on her neck and I just had to say, okay. And then her kids were removed, which yeah. was fine. Well, it wasn't fine, but the reality is the kids could not stay in that situation. Yeah. And it got to the point where I just had to say to her, you know, okay, what what is it you're waiting for? What did she say? She couldn't say nothing. I, I had to have a real honest, like, what is it you're waiting for? for the, we, we, we she's done. waiting for the trumpet call. You know, <laughs> literally, uh, you know, it's, we, shouldn't even, we shouldn't even trivialize it. But you know, see when you when all, all the memes or memes when yeah. when they're flying, yeah. they do something silly, and then and then the men just carry them, the guardians yeah. with the yeah, with the yeah, coffin. on the funeral. Like, yeah, literally, yeah. It's just like actually, what is it you're actually waiting for? Trumpet call, boy. Yeah, yeah. you know. Do you know what? Yeah, you've said that, and that's triggered off a story that I had over working. Yeah, the people always say to me, "What's the worst thing you've seen at work?" Yeah. I, I think one of the worst things I experienced at work was a DV murder. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You told yeah. me. Yeah. So when you mentioned the scarf, yeah, I remembered, yeah. So, guys, yeah, real story. Yeah. This ain't even like on the TLC channel. This is a real story yeah, seen by me. She was, yeah. I went to work in the morning. Like, the whole borough was flying around the police that night. I remember it because I, live I lived in the borough mm. at the time, yeah. Went to work in the morning and it so happened that my team was on duty that week. Mm get up straight to the police station what had happened this man had the man was abusive before the mum tried to leave him and then she took the keys away from him the keys when he left so he'd been stalking her and waiting for her waiting for her so one day he crept into the house hid himself in the cupboard yeah waited waited till the kids went to bed and then he came out strangled the mum with her own hijab scarf don't wear them at home yeah and then <laughs> Sake. <laughs> guys yeah i'm making a light i'm making it light because sometimes that's the only way you can because for just, me it yeah. was traumatic I'm, yeah, i have to, 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 talk, to talk about it i have to make it light yeah because i it's not a story that i normally talk about and then this woman was dead so now after this man kills her he then calls the police mm. he goes upstairs sleeps gets in the bed with the kids and has a sleep yeah calls the police Mad. and says oh, i've killed my wife before the day broke, yeah, and my kids are going to wake up at about 
eight o'clock to get ready for school. Man. We killed her. Her scarf was strung, she's stronger than the scarf. And I assume the youngest daughter saw it. Why do you think that? Because when I was doing direct work of the child, she was drawing mum on the floor with um a with a scarf on her Mad. neck. And she was she drew her mum on the floor. Yeah. And that was like because what the when the police came to remove her, um to re- she was in the kitchen basically. They took all the kids out mm. and they didn't know. When I went to meet these little kids, it was just so crazy. How old were the kids? Nothing past five. Oh I think the oldest gosh. one might the oldest one might, must have been six. She used to call me lobster. Because she knew I liked a lot of lobster to eat. Because I did so much work with this family, yeah. Did you know them before it happened? No. No, okay. Well, okay. I didn't, boy. I just got the case that morning. Yeah, but, I, I, but I had to be with them. Because obviously, when they got told what happened, mm. I was the person there. Yeah, yeah, So I was kind of like a safe place for them yeah. as well. I just remember us being in the, in the, in the police station, yeah. Then the sister of the mum that died got told, that got killed, oh, got told. The screams that echoed, yeah. Mm. And if you know... Like police stations in London, yeah, yeah. they're old buildings, yeah. You, yeah. Can hear it. you can it echoed, yeah, like from one room to another, yeah. and the kids were like, "What's happened?" Oh, but man. the one, the older, the older child at this point knew something was wrong with mummy, yeah, because she was like, "Where's my mum? Where's my mum? Oh, Where's my mum?" Go shiver, yeah. yeah. So guys, when is enough enough? Yeah, I don't know because some people I want you to. The, hmm, the just, reality is, some people want you dead, and they don't. Yeah. They don't know it. And life is so like a switch. Yeah. What did that man, what made that man think? He said, if nobody can, if you can't be with me, nobody can have you. And what about his kids? His own kids? Mm -hmm. He didn't even love, or where did he think the kids go? Because obviously they're not going to have their mum anymore. Yeah. He even turned himself in, so he knew he was not going to be around. Yeah. And he didn't even try and run either. Where's he running to? Wow. That's yeah, it was it was one of those cases that was solved on the day. We didn't need Colombo. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't need murder. She wrote it was already written. Yeah, oh my God. and it was just like it, it was literally the longest like seven hours of my yeah. life. Like my work, it was the longest working day of my life, and I've had many. Yeah, yeah, but that was the longest working day of my life because I was like, what? And then you know, if you know what comes with the job, yeah. That way I had to now go and do a parenting assessment to see if them up a viable viability assessment of the, uh, of the grandma. Yeah. Oh, and I was just like, oh, really? We want to do this today? Yeah. But it is what it is, guys, yeah. I don't know what enough is enough, but a lot of people go through a lot of things. And I would just say, me, like, I can't be there and you're punching me. Yeah. Nah, sorry. I'm, I'm, I, don't. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't even know. There's, 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 there's things around it, yeah. I can take responsibility for certain things, mm. but I've got to really go to the court of life and say, okay, I did this, and then what happened? Mm. Yeah, when did we get to the point of you? How and, did we get here? Yeah, and, and you now, thought that it would be okay. okay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I can take it when I'm like, okay, I know I can be a man free, mm. but I don't. I, I'm not a physical person. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not a physical person, and people think I can rock. But I don't think I can, yeah. I'm not much of a physical person. So when somebody becomes physical with someone, it's like, what? How did we get here? How did we get here? I remember like when I had an argument with one of my friends, yeah, like, oh, well, I had a with my friend, somebody in the past, yeah. And I was like, get out of my car because I don't want to do anything to you that I might regret. And the person wouldn't leave my car because they're gauding me. Yeah. Now you're yeah. using this word. Now I'm Why using this word, yeah. Because I want to be sure to know that I've learned the English, okay. yeah. They're <laughs> goading me. But because I'm just like, I can't even physically, like, yeah. put my hands on you. I left my own car. Oh, wow. I would never. Wow. I could I could irritate somebody. That person should have got the hell out of the car. Oh, no, no, no. They, they give as good as they get. They know who they are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They know who they are, yeah. <laughs> they but I think there is something about boundaries. Like yeah. when you say no, your no should be no, your yes should be no. Yeah. You need to leave, you need to leave. And you did the right thing. Yeah. Like you, you removed yourself from the situation. Yeah, but, but you know, the, the thing is, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not always been perfect in that situation. I know, <laughs> Sheila, I know you. Yeah. I, I know you. I know you. I think we all know you. We know your mouth. Yeah. But it's still... 
yeah i just think like you said there's there's, there's levels i'm a horrible kid <laughs> she is she can be she can be a lovable horrible kid yeah <laughs> i would spoil yeah yeah but i just think as well when, when we think about when is enough is yeah. enough we have to think about the impact mm. yeah so when i'm thinking when impact. is enough is enough big words i'm thinking about impact i'm thinking about okay if i've got kids mm. what am i willing to have around my kids mm. Mm. you know i think one of the things that me and dan have done is we've said we know obviously we both work in the field so we've consciously made an effort that actually we're going to try our best to not argue around the kids so how do you guys argue silently ha so i will save it i will write it down yeah the kids go to bed quarter past eight dan i did not appreciate yeah <laughs> That is how we've got here, yeah? yeah? So I promise you, I'll be, I can do the silent treatment. I can be maybe shutting the doors a bit loudly. Yeah. But what I'm not going to do is have any form of, you didn't, do, I'm not going to raise my voice in mm. front of my kids. I appreciate that. I'm not I, I, going I, to do it. I'm a big believer in not doing stuff like that. I'm, I'm not going to do it. People are like, oh no, you're hiding, you're, you're hiding related from the kids because yes. they're going to go, no, yes. kids are going to know we disagree. Yeah, yeah. But I think, I think like verbal words that you're throwing across. Yeah. And the kids are just there looking, mm, mommy, yeah. daddy, daddy, And the mommy. kids are crying and it's just nah. like, nah, I don't nah, think it's nah, healthy. Nah, 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 nah. I think we should try to protect kids as much At as we can. At all costs, yeah. protect okay. your kids. Fair enough. When your child is now 15, life is happening, you'll know the truth yeah, yeah please go oliver go out so i can fight your daddy yeah, now please but go it's like mates. when your child is below 10 below nah, 11 nah. don't do that the impact is D too yeah, much don't do that what you're wiring the, yeah. the child that is still learning and growing yeah what you're you're showing them is that actually this is you're normalizing something yeah. that shouldn't be normal yeah yeah and you're teaching them how to behave so actually so yeah. when they get into relationships yeah they can start shouting and cussing yeah and, da -da -da. and it's a it's a false um it's a false understanding of life because they mm. think just because you and mummy and daddy stay together through the fights, they think the person that they're going to be with they will, will stay. Be, will stay. <laughs> but that person's been raised differently. Exactly. Yeah? And they're like, I look, take your in, my, in my house, I've yeah. never seen my dad talk to my mum like that. Yep. I've never yep. seen my mum talk to my dad like that. Yeah. I don't want to be spoken to like that. Yeah. yeah. So if you can't talk to me properly, Straight away. we're not going to make this work. Yeah, yeah, Do you yeah, understand what yeah, I mean? Yeah. yeah. Or that person might not. They, they, nobody has to take anybody's abuse. I'm telling you. That is the honest truth. Even us as adults, yeah, we were once kids, no? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There were certain things that your parents can't say to you now at this big age. Oh, and you're sorry. there saying, oh, yes, ma. What? No, it's I'll okay. be like, no, like, no, don't do that. <laughs> yeah. already, we already know how yeah. you talk to, to Mummy Rose. <laughs> I'll be like, mum, no, like, don't do that. Yeah. And like, thank God, like, my mum's been able to kind of like understand, that. understand mm. growth and development yeah, yeah. yeah i'm like that's your opinion mum i appreciate it thanks thanks for letting me know okay but. i'll pray for you <laughs> thank you yeah. i appreciate that. I, said that, that well. I really yeah. need that yeah thanks i need that even more thank you <laughs> do you know what yeah. i mean yeah. but it's like um when people don't know people will not leave relationships because they don't know where to go next yeah because when you're in a relationship yeah you kind of lose the identity of who yeah. you are you lose well, self-identity sometimes without even knowing. knowing yeah it takes a real strong person not to lose themselves in a relationship mm. yeah like you're very strong you're still who you are i am and i'm not but you know what i say strong this black only, woman i'm really not strong i'm a weak <laughs> black woman please i'm not strong please, please come and hold Conf me confession is possession <laughs> no i don't want to be a strong black woman <laughs> oh. no I, we, and we need to do a recording on this I we need to get we need woman. to get viola davis on here let's get i don't i'm not a strong black woman me i like to cry sometimes of i don't course. like to cry in front of people but i like to cry i've, um, I've never seen michelle cry you know i don't cry in front of people but i like to cry have yeah. i seen you cry no you won't see me cry and i saw you cry at a funeral at a funeral, yeah. yeah. But you haven't. You, I, I, was, I, I was shocked. Like that. <laughs> I'm not a witch after I, all. I was shocked. I was like, does a tear drop? Wow. I don't cry. I'm not a strong black woman. I, I didn't know what to do, guys. Yeah, when Michelle was crying, <laughs> I said, should I pray for you? Exactly. I'm going to take a picture. Yeah, yeah, I was like, no, I didn't. Should I pray for you? <laughs> yes. Yeah, should I hug you? Should I? You know what I ended up doing? I just said, God's in control. Yeah, yeah. Pat, pat. <laughs> you know what? I, actually, I was looking for Dan. I was like, Dan. <laughs> I was like, Dan, come here. Yeah. <laughs> she is an idiot. You made me I lose what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wow. Because things have happened in life here. Yeah. In, in, in the years that I've known Michelle cry. since we were like 20 years. Yeah, I don't cry. Things have happened in life here. Yeah. Like when Michelle told me certain things, yeah, I was like, are you all right? Yep, I'm all right. I'm fine. Yep. I said, okay. <laughs> I said, 
I'll be there. <laughs> Just look at me, I show that. <laughs> Michelle don't cry. I like don't cry. I don't think we're criers though. I don't we don't cry to mm. you you cry, but I we cry, don't cry yeah. to each other. I've yeah. never seen you cry. Yeah, I've seen me cry. I've not seen you cry, Sheila. I promise you. Is it? I promise you. Maybe I, it takes me a long time. Do you know what? Yeah, I cried my tears in 2014. <laughs> <laughs> Like, no, legit, yeah. That's what I say to people, yeah. If you want to be trying to disturb me at this big age, you yeah, in this you age, yeah, nah. you think I'm gonna be there crying tears, yeah? It's nah, not that deep, I've yeah. Done it, yeah. Look, listen, yeah, I did that already, yeah, in I've my twenties, yeah. I don't have them tears to cry. Crying tears on the guy that's left me, he's not my husband. Nah. Even my husband, sorry. No, um, husband is different because at least you know that like you're fighting, fighting for this love, Cheryl Cole, yeah, but. <laughs> But if you're just now, oh, okay, thanks. Yeah, thanks for letting me know. This is not going to work out. Contract terminated. Wow. <laughs> yeah. But it is, but I'm, I'm not, I'll, I don't think I sit there crying. I don't think there's anything wrong with crying. There's definitely not on the I think just do what's I, good for you. I, I cry I more in prayer than I cry. Really? Yeah. Oh. Spiritual. It's a spiritual cry. I very rarely cry. Yeah. I, I very rarely cry. And when I do cry, I don't really like to cry around people. I don't really Why like How do you it. cry? You cry in your eyes? Oh, like some. Th- with my nan, I've mm. cried some horrible, oh, like this yeah. year, the last couple of weeks, I've cried some horrible tears. Yeah. Like, I just don't like, I don't know, maybe the way I've been raised, I don't cry around people. Yeah. If you're raised, when, when, like, it just, again, it's all about life experiences, but yeah. when you've gone through certain things alone, then yeah. actually, and you, you don't really feel that you've got anybody that yeah. you can depend on as a child, yeah. then actually as an adult, you won't you, go to cry to people because you're used to dealing with it by yourself. yourself yeah. Learn behaviours, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So I'm not going to be crying to people. What are you going to do for me? You're just going to pat me on my back. back. and say, oh, God is in control. Thanks, I knew that. <laughs> yeah, thank but you. Before I came here, <laughs> I had read read that scripture. <laughs> <laughs> really, all I need is a million pounds. Yeah, then I know it's in control. <laughs> No, but it's true. It's true. But women and men that are going through anything, yeah. I think for me, one last part. Like, I don't, I don't want to miss out on this point, yeah. Of the um, what you need to think about when you're planning to leave, yeah. Mm. You need an escape plan. You need to do a risk assessment as well, and you need to risk the emotional and physical being, yeah, or risk the children if you have any, and who to tell. Now, um, there are services out there. So yeah, many. That basically brings us on to where can you go to get mm. help, yeah. Throughout the week, I know the week's gone. You'll see different um, <coughs> bits and pieces that we'll put mm. up showing you where you can go. First of all, point of contact here, yeah, your local social services. Do you know what it is? I, and I say, we say this so easy, yeah. Mm. But the reality is, I know a lot of parents, a lot of women say, mm. don't want to go to social services because they then feel that actually their kids are going to be taken away. Yeah, we're not going to remove your kids, guys. Well, like, no, not unless we need to. I, the reality is, and we've seen it sometimes, we ask people, choose, are you going to choose this abusive relationship or are you mm. going to choose your kids? Yeah, sometimes they choose the relationship. And sometimes they choose the relationship. Yeah. And that's because there's no excuse why, mm. with all the services that are available, mm. there's no excuse why a child should Do have to stay in Do you think abusers can change? Oh. I think so. I think there's, I think there's a, I, no, okay, it let me shifts. tell you. No, no, I think, I think as well, there's two types of abusers, yeah? Mm. So I think there's people that are chronic um, abusers, yeah? Mm -hmm. They like it, they get thrills out of it. Mm. Would you say a husband whose wife has been goading him, goading him, he then slaps her once, he never slaps her again, is he an abuser? No. Okay. And I I think I would agree. Yeah. But what happens if a husband who's, the wife wasn't even goading him, he's gone out for a drink, He's an really abuser. Drunk. It's just once, just the once, and it's never happened again. He's an abuser. So you think that you become your real self when you're in alcohol. <laughs> okay, father. <laughs> <laughs> when you're when you lose your inhibitions, whatever the word is, that's yeah, the word. <laughs> yeah, you become your real self. Really, yeah. you're only showing us who you've been hiding. Really, yes. But if he never does it again, he's like, I'm so sorry. I can't believe it. I, this shouldn't drink it. then. Even drink. the Bible says. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> if there's nothing wrong with drinking, yeah. but if it causes to, you to behave immoral or in 100%. ways that are not acceptable, it's mental. It's yeah. it's a sin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. like there's nothing wrong with drinking, yeah. but if you now lose your inhibitions and you don't and even know what you're doing, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But okay, so I don't know if I want to be judging him and say he's a real abuser. Uh, that's I a bit think, harsh. I just think there's there's a line. It's about consistency. It's and the if, thing. If, if this if something if happens, you hit me and you apologize, 
and yeah. it never happens again. I, then that's we can we can live with that. Something yeah. you can work on. Yeah, because that's when your parents are gonna say, Why are you leaving for? Because of mm. one slap. Mm. Calm down, yeah. I think I've even said that to somebody before. <laughs> <laughs> it's just one slap. <laughs> I think I said it to one of my friends. I said uh, all of this though, just because but the reason why I said that, yeah, mm. was because she was actually goading him. Okay. So yeah. She was pushing him. What physically? Physically pushing him. Pushing him. And he actually said, "I didn't hit her. I promise you, she was yeah. I pushed her back to get Heavily. her off me. Yeah. Because she was beating me and snapping me. Mm. And I was like, Nah, sis, you did the most. Yeah. Yeah. Is it every day? Sometimes just Nah, don't. I think we all need to look into our own the roles that we've played. Yeah. When it's become. Um, physical I, listen for me yeah, I'm telling you now yeah it's time to leave when you're isolated from your family and your friends yeah that's what I know yeah, yeah. 100% when, if, if they don't want you around certain people they yeah. want you dressed in a certain way yeah. they don't want you going that control here or factor. there that control factor that is yeah. yeah I think that's the beginning of the end yeah. for me I say, I say look yeah because they know when you go to your family to your friends you're empowered you're mm. encouraged you're whatever the moment for me the moment a person tells me don't go here stop seeing this person don't talk to this person don't go to your mum's I'm that, telling like you. what you're I'm stopping me from going you. to my mum's we're gonna have a problem I've, I've heard of something quite recently mm. where um the husband was telling the the woman i don't want you working anymore Ooh. Not because he wants to look after her. Yeah. He just says, I just don't want you working anymore. I want you to be a stay-at-home mum and I'm going to quit my job and I'm going to work from home. Why? Control. He, he, oh, he took her phone. Is this a friend? Yeah. <gasps> no, 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 no. It's a friend of a friend. It's okay. a friend of a friend. Somebody that you know through somebody. Yeah. Yeah. But wow. I do know of this person. Yeah. See, that's... And he took her phone in this 2022. Like she's a child. Like she's Olivia. I couldn't. Yeah, like she's Olivia. I'd be <laughs> taking her phone away. Any yeah. little thing, bam, hand it over. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But Turn no way. the internet at a certain time at night. What a big woman. Grown woman in her like late 30s. Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. Why did I get married? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I just yeah. think. It, no, that's how I would need to question. I think, um, like you said, you need to know what I would take because for mm. me, that sounds wild. Yeah. In this I, day like, age. Me, yeah, I always say the point of isolation. When you're trying to yeah. even think about it. Isolation. Guys, get the word. Mm. I-S-O-L-A-T. You know how to spell. You got it. Yeah. That's when you need to yeah. stop and yeah. say no way. Because what is the purpose of isolating people? You isolate somebody to control, to do whatever to you want. To make things worse, yeah. yeah, without no repercussions. Yeah, no because nobody is now judging you. Nobody's mm. holding you accountable, yeah. saying, yeah. Rah, why is Frederick talking to you like that? Mm. Yeah. Oh, why? why, why they won't even see it. Why are you got makeup on anymore? Oh, he doesn't like it. Yeah. What do you mean doesn't like it? Mm. What do you like? What do you like? Yeah. Oh, you used to be such a flamboyant personality. Now you're nowhere to be seen. Marriage and or love, should we say? Because it doesn't even yeah. have to be. Yeah, it doesn't in, have to be marriage. But love doesn't control. Love doesn't mm. dictate. Mm. Love doesn't dictate. Mm. Love doesn't control. I can hear your opinion, mm. but you can't say, yeah, this is that. Girl. That's final. Girl, Mariah Carey said it. Spread your wings and prepare to fly. <laughs> you become my butterfly. <laughs> Sheila is just, literally, she's got a song for everything. No. This is why I love this girl. She's got a song for everything. But, but because love is meant to free you. Love is yeah? meant to free you. Love is meant to elevate you. And make to you the grow. Best, yeah, yeah. To the best ability of Not who you Not stifle you. Exactly. That's why when good parenthood comes in place, yeah, it's like, nah, come on. Even Whitney Houston told us you were loved by somebody. Yeah, come on. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be a concert soon, guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but I'm going to say my thing is when it's time, my, my final words are it's time to go when you're being controlled. Yeah. yeah. And if you've been beaten up black and blue and you survived it, don't go back there, guys. I know it's mm. hard, but there are places that you can go for support. There's so many places. Yeah? And it's not the easiest journey to take. But it might be the best journey you've ever embarked on. It, it not, I'll, I'll be honest, Shills. Mm. If you are going through something like that, you leaving will be the best decision you've, you've ever, ever made. made. Yeah, if, if you are going through that decision, mm. those issues, that will be the best decision you've ever made. Yeah. Yeah? And just to say, the DV helpline, 
if you feel that you can't even because some people feel they can't tell their friends and family yeah. because either won't be judgment. believed or the shame the, the judgment sh- you know Let's talk, let's talk about that shame, yeah? yeah. That shame be keeping people in relationships are unhealthy, you. yeah? I'm telling you. Wow. For the, doing it for the gram. Wow, yeah. Shame. The shame. God, what's the saying that people say? Shame is free. Yeah. Yeah, and people are really taking it because it's free. I'm telling yeah, you. And it's like, that shame will keep you in a relationship, yeah? It'll keep that, you in bondage that, in this one life that you have. Uh, wow, yeah. And do you know what, yeah? There's not, you're not a failure, yeah. It's not. You're not a failure if you choose to be happy, if you choose mm. yourself. Because practically you're choosing yourself, you're choosing life. Your relationship doesn't define you. This is it. Yeah, this is being it. with any man, woman, yeah. that doesn't make you who you were. Uh, you I were that it, person before, before you yeah. got into that relationship. And this is why it's important when you get into relationships, yeah, to keep doing... Yeah, keep doing you. Keep doing you. Keep mm-hmm. doing the things that make you you, mm-hmm. yeah. Keep going for lunches of your friends. Keep going for dinners. Keep doing family. Keep joining man. your friend on the podcast. <laughs> yeah, keep doing it. Keep doing it. No, it's the truth. It's the truth, though. Because I think, yeah, sometimes yeah. people think, oh, you're doing too much. You're not at home. And I'm yeah. like, bruv, like, before I met my husband... I was, I was still. I was. I was out with yeah, shows. Yeah, we're yeah. We're just not in the clubs anymore. Yeah. But we're oh, here. Yeah. You know we're not in Nando's. We're not in that. <laughs> <laughs> Big up uni days. Yeah. yeah. Big up the student loan that gets us all that food. It's so important yeah. to just keep keep, keep doing keep you. some part of you. Yeah. That is aside from yeah. any man, woman, or child. Yeah. No, it's really important. Even when I've been in relationships, I've tried to also keep up with my um, socializing mm-hmm. with my friends. Do you know I what I mean? Observe. One thing that me and um, me and Lucy mm-hmm. always did because Lucy got with her fella when yeah. we were quite young, yeah. And me and me and Lucy, we, me and Lucy both moved out of our parents' homes because we lived next door to each other, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we both moved out into different areas, whatever. But I think I moved out first, yeah. And then, um, what we used to do is even though she was in a full blown relationship and whatever, yeah, we still met up for dinners, like we had a dinner every month, yeah, yeah. like. It, well, even if we saw each other at different spots of it, but we went out for dinner. Just you and her. Just me and yeah, her. Yeah. And Nikki, her fella, he wouldn't say enough because he just knew yeah, that's yeah. what they did. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. And as we've got older, different things. I still have sleepovers at their house. At their yeah, house. Yeah, yeah. 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 And Nikki lives there. Yeah. But it's just like, oh, all right. Just but, chills. Yeah. But it's just like, we're just. You, you, you just keep yeah, it's continued yeah. yeah it's your relationships that you build on me and you still do certain things mm. I can't remember the last time I saw oh, last time I saw Dan was at the funeral oh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. but me and you how many times have we yeah. seen each other yeah, yeah. we've gone out we've yeah, gone out yeah. the only time I see Dan is maybe on the phone if yeah, like, yeah, we're yeah. FaceTime yeah, yeah and it's like oh it was walked past right Shields if that's you got it. clothes on <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that, that, that video oh. call on my birthday during the <laughs> lockdown. Do you, oh. <laughs> you know what, guys? Yeah, I am going to start putting clothes on. When Please. I, when that's I call, all dad prays for. Yeah. <laughs> when I call friends, when, even your friends of mine that are calling when you're married, yeah, <laughs> don't call me when your husband's are behind you and I've got no, because I'm going to pick up my phone like, hello? Hello? <laughs> dad was like, oh, you've got clothes on. I'm like, oh, sorry, dad. Yeah. My bad. <laughs> sorry, I didn't know you were so. But it is all those, Michelle, you're so right. Keep mm, doing the things that make to. you you, yeah. You have to. Because if you don't guys yeah you're gonna lose yourself yeah yeah and it's not good and the person who's abusive always they know m- they know mm-hmm. yeah and be careful who you get with mm-hmm. because the background will tell you a lot mm-hmm. yeah be friends with your in-laws because mm-hmm. there might be your saving grace as well mm-hmm. and if you're not being supported by your in-laws you need to actually go yeah. there's a likelihood that i'm gonna say my son is okay actually you're the problem Ah, there is a likelihood. Yeah, my in-laws are good. My in-laws yeah. are good. But I mean, there is something about being with someone who's not accountable to anybody. Oh! There is something Different about topic. That. Yeah, there is. Different, massively. Different yeah. conversation. Yeah. 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 And we're going to bring that one back. Yeah. yeah. We're going to bring back that one. Yeah. We're going to bring that back in this season. Yeah. yeah. Accountability. is so Ooh. important. Because I think in, in the Nigerian culture, mm-hmm. I see it a lot though. Mm. You can tell a parent... And they will, come, it's a come, family meeting. Yeah, yeah. Family meeting. But yeah. when you've got someone that says, okay. What's the purpose? You, why are you going to tell my mum? My mum can't tell me nothing. Yeah. Hey. Or my yeah. dad can't tell me. My grandma. Yeah. Hey. yeah. So where do you go? What do you do now? My God. And if it's not even a person practicing your own faith. What? What do you do? Right. You Literally, can't, where you can't do you even go. Yeah. yeah. Who can I run to escape? <laughs> 
<laughs> no, we still need to do this karaoke. The, the, the song is the, the song is "Who Can I Run To" by Escape. Yeah, okay. I didn't mean for you to escape. <laughs> escape. <laughs> <laughs> or you should do that yeah, if you feel you need do, to. Do that, do that, do that. <laughs> but guys, yeah, I, hopefully over the past month or a couple, a couple of weeks actually, you've been able to pick up on the avenues that we've been promoting in terms of getting help, getting support, and um, help is available. And guys, yeah, I'm gonna put it out there. I know me and Michelle have done this episode and I know we've laughed about, about a few things, but we're actually quite um, educated in this area. Mm-hmm. So if you want to actually talk about this, like in a safe environment, mm-hmm. you can actually talk to us because we are actually qualified yeah. in this area of work and we've practiced it for not plugging the careers between the both of us 30 years. No, I yeah, didn't want to say so that. it's yeah. knowledge upon knowledge. We're not just talking for the sake of it. Mm. So if you've gone through something and you want to talk to us, feel free to hit us up personally mm-hmm. on our DMs. And if you're in England, there's a domestic violence helpline. Yeah, Google it. It's a confidential number. Yeah, and I'm sure in your local areas, there's a lot of um, there's so much support. You know what? Yeah, here's avenues that you can go to. Yeah, if you're in a domestic abusive relationship, yeah and you feel like you don't have the ability to make that phone call because of your partner, because it's controlling, he's got your phone. Mm. If you have kids, when you go to school, set up a meeting with the head a teacher. teacher. Yep. Yeah. If you go to the GPs, go and talk to your GP. Mm-hmm. Book a GP appointment Even and go. There's, there's, there's initiatives in places like Sainsbury's yeah. and the Morrison's. Yeah. yeah. You there's, give them, just say, oh, it, I need to get my period or something. There's, there's a, there's a yeah, specific there's, phrase and we'll oh find Oh my God, it. yeah. I went out. I went on a date, guys. Yes, Woo-hoo! I did. Yeah, <laughs> I went out. Then I went to the bathroom. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. You yeah. see it. But yeah, I went to the bathroom, and it says, um, "If your date isn't going the way you want it to go, mm-hmm. and you feel scared, go to the bar and ask for Angela. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll call you a cab and take you out the back way. Yep. Yeah. Hey. There's so many things. Wow. Out there. There's wow. So many exit plans, guys. I'm not telling you that now to go and get free cabs home. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. It chills. <laughs> did you did it fuck run across your mind? No, no, do you know what? Yeah, I stayed for the whole date, yeah, and I had loads of drinks, but then I caught a cold after. I stayed for the whole date, so then you know the date actually walked me to wherever I was oh, going nice. to, yeah. But anyway, I don't know if it's abusive or not. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you're trying to control me, yeah, by walking me, yeah. <laughs> Guys, let's not get paranoid, yeah. But there are those things that are out There's there. There's so many things mm. out there. And it's, you can walk yeah. into your social services office if you feel confident enough to. Mm. You can contact the police, obviously. Yeah, that's one yeah, contact yeah. point. If you suspect, and I've said it on the podcast mm. so many times, mm. if you suspect you want to know, if you suspect that a man isn't treating you right or a woman mm. and they're doing certain things and it's a bit iffy and you want to know if they've had a history of allegations of oh, domestic violence you can check for them claire's law I've oh said yeah, yeah so you've said it before times. yeah yeah claire's yeah. law yeah. you um i think it's online you google you want to make a claire's law application mm. and they will tell you if um a claire. person has had um a Previous. history of of allegations or convictions yeah. if they've been to prison if they've done any time the police will let you know so that you can make an informed decision yeah. on if you want to go ahead with the relationship. Mm. And Claire came about because she was murdered in a domestic violence relationship mm. by a man that had a history of domestic the violence violent. that had been reported to the police. Several times. Several times. Yeah. Yeah. You see, guys, sometimes that street CRB check isn't enough. I've done a Claire's law application. I'll tell you that. Not, on Dan. Dan. Not on Dan, but I've done one in the past. I promise you. Is it? Yeah, I've done one. Yeah, yeah I don't play with black. my life. On a black, yeah, oh, Dan's wow. my only uh, yeah, minority. <laughs> well, yeah. In this case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dan's my, yeah, oh, wow. yeah, on a black person, I did it. It came back clean, but I just had to make sure because, oh, yeah. yeah, certain signs I, I didn't appreciate. And we're, we're going to get into that again, you know, that clears law. I, I even forgot about it, you know, mm. like women that keep picking the same men just with different faces. There is something about, yeah. Yeah. Guys, I hope it's been informative and I hope it hasn't been too heavy. But, you know, my favourite people to talk about, if, if you're confused about how to get out here, yeah, when enough is enough here, yeah, go and watch Tina Turner. I was just about to say my favourite people to talk about. She loves a good old T, Tina, Tina and Ike. Yeah, go. Ike and Tina. For me, yeah, that is like, that was of abuse. I, I don't know it's anybody terrible. else. terrible. It was so I don't bad. Know, I don't know anything else that has ever been in the limelight like that. And if mm. I've missed it, then I've missed it. But I just thought that was so abusive. She was doing all that work every day. And did people know? Yeah, the people around knew. The singers knew. 
the, the what venue. do you do if you suspect that your friend is what do you do if you suspect well, yeah if i suspect my friend is being abused yeah you do the issues i i think because i've had a conversation recently with a friend who mm. thought something was happening mm. and i just so said, you yeah, yeah no 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 my <laughs> friend thought that oh, my friend knew that her other friend was, was being an abusive, abused yeah and what I said to her is that you just need to keep the lines of communication open with your friend mm. because women that are being abused are not, when something's happened, they'll tell you. Mm. But then if they're not ready to leave, they're going to pattern things up and be like, oh no, it's fine. Mm. Everything's all good. Mm. And then there's going to be a cycle and it's just going to keep yeah, on going. Yeah, but what yeah. you need to not do is get angry at your friend yeah. or demean your friend, make them yeah. feel bad for staying. Yeah. Just keep on showing up. Listen, whenever you're ready, yeah. I'm going to be here to support you. I don't even think, I don't even think it's right to tell people to leave. Mm. Yeah. It's like, because they'll go, people can only leave when they're yeah. ready. Yeah. And, Oh, obviously, it's different when you're like, you know what, yeah, your life is at risk. I'm gonna I think take. You ask the question: What is your what's what's what, when when what is your what's, what's your the... boiling point? Yeah. What's it gonna take? What does he need to do? When it's put boiling water on me. <laughs> God That's... forbid. When I'm boiling. God forbid. Like... But, you, but some people don't even know when it is. Yeah, it's just. It's just a case of being locked up, thinking this is the only thing that's going to be good mm. for you. But guys, we can talk about this forever, I yeah? Know, right? We're going to cut and we're going to go and try and be happy this Saturday. Um, <laughs> <laughs> in fact, yeah, I'm actually, um, what's it? I'm actually, um, I'm, I'm emceeing tonight at an engagement party. Woo-hoo! So, you know. A nice I'll, fun. A nice fun evening. Hopefully I won't have this in my mind saying, hmm, I wonder if it's abusive. <laughs> <laughs> But I will be throwing a few gems in there at the MC and gig that I've got tonight. Oh, so cool. yeah, so that's it. Oh my god, imagine talking about abusive men and women. Hopefully she's not abusive to him and he's not abusive to her. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. so but guys, think about what you're doing and you know, be happy, innit? Mm. Yeah. But support each other, love on each other, and let's be healthy. Alright. Yeah, Happy take Saturday. Care. Happy Saturday. Bye. <laughs> Phil Mitchell. <laughs> <laughs>